Booker T. Washington was born into slavery on April 5, 1856 in Franklin County, Virginia. He and his mother lived in a one-room log cabin. His mother worked as a cook for the plantation owner, while his job on the plantation was to carry 100-pound bags of grain to the plantation mill. If he did not perform his duties, he'd be beaten by his master. One day while working, he looked into a schoolhouse and saw young girls and boys reading books, and he decided that that's what he wanted to do. When he was 10, he got a job as a houseboy for the wife of a coal miner. While working that job, she allowed him to go to school an hour a day during the winter time. In 1872, he met General Samuel Armstrong, founder of Hampson Institute, and was later offered a scholarship to attend school there. In 1875, he graduated from Hampton Institute and took a job to teach at his former grade school. In 1879, he spoke at the graduation ceremony at Hampson Institute. After hearing the speech, General Armstrong decided to offer Washington a teaching position there. In 1881, the Alabama legislator approved $2,000 for a colored school, and General Armstrong was asked to recommend a white man for the school. However, instead, he decided Booker T. Washington would be better fit for the job. Under Booker T. Washington, the school he was appointed to run, Tuskegee University, was thriving. It had over 100 buildings, 1,500 students, and a 200-member faculty. Newspaper articles were written documenting the success of Tuskegee, and soon the school was receiving nationwide recognition. On September 18th, 1895, Washington delivered the Atlanta Compromise speech in Atlanta, Georgia. He would become the first African-American man to give a speech to a racially mixed Southern crowd. On August 24, 1900, the National Negro Business League, which was created by Washington, held its first meeting. In attendance were many influential African-American leaders from the South. In 1901, Washington published an autobiography called Up From Slavery. It was a very popular book and was a great success for Washington. On October 16, 1901, Washington ate dinner in the White House with President Theodore Roosevelt. By doing that, he became the first African-American guest to enter the White House and speak with the President. At the dinner, the two discussed segregation and racial tension in the South. After that dinner, he became an advisor to Roosevelt and was also an advisor to William Howard Taft later on. He remained the head of Tuskegee Institute until his death on November 14, 1915, due to heart failure. Booker T. Washington was significant because he was an inspiration to the African American community. He helped make the black community a better place and he worked for educational equality for African Americans. His legacy still lives on to this day, as many schools have been named after him in his honor, along with statues and memorials. He took a stand by rising from slavery to become a strong influence to other African Americans through a time of harsh segregation and discrimination. Despite Harsh criticism from whites, he was never afraid to aid other African Americans educationally and teach them how to become successful independently in the economic world.